guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have a baby video for you today. I'm really excited about it. So the nursery, by the time you see this, it will probably be done and I will have filmed the nursery tour. But today, it's not done. The crib gets here Monday. Most of the rest of like the wall art decor pieces get here Tuesday. And so I thought it would be fun instead of filming a whole nursery tour today because I really want to make sure like it's all done when I film it. But we obviously don't know how long Baby Girl's going to stay in here. If you haven't seen my preterm labor scare, I will link that video below for you guys. Um, and all my other pregnancy related videos. There's also a playlist on my channel if you want to go and check out all of those kinds of videos. So anyway, I thought it would be fun to do a little closet tour, show you guys some of her cute little outfits, how I organize the closet, what's in the closet, show you some storage, some things that I put like up higher in her closet that we'll need in a few later months um, that we won't need right away. Just kind of show you closet organization, clothes, some of the items that she has in there, and all that good stuff. So I hope that you guys are interested in this. It's like a baby closet tour video, which is really funny. But um, the nursery tour, I wanna wait until everything is in there. So we will go check out my baby's closet. So I think I'm gonna use my vlog camera. So yeah, it'll be a little bit different audio, I think. I have a really nice vlog camera, you guys. Like I spent way too much money on this vlog camera. It was like $1,000, I think. And it's like the Sony something. I had it right here. I don't know where it is though. It must be inside. But it's like the Sony something. But every time I film with it, I've messed with the settings. I've also reset the settings. Every time I film with that camera, something is off with the audio. And I don't know if it's just because it's a vlog camera. I always try to doctor it when I import it and put it in like Final Cut Pro. I don't know if that'll work. So the audio will be different and the video will look a little bit different. But yeah, let's go check out her closet and see what she's got in there. There are some very cute things. Okay, so outside her nursery, little sneak peek, she, we have this cute little unicorn nightlight thingy. <laughs> okay, let's go in. Okay, so I'm not going to show you all the nursery right now, but here's a little sneak peek, and then here is her closet. How stinking cute is this closet? Can you even handle it? Oh my gosh. Okay, so. Let's fully go through it. This is her hamper with her crib sheets because like I said, that's not in yet And this is her crib skirt, which again her crib isn't in yet So it's just hanging there because we ironed it and all that good stuff So for right now I have the snuggle me organic in here Which is the sensory baby lounger that she's gonna be using and under that I'm gonna take this out just so you guys can all see it. So I have that in here we will be using that really frequently, so it will come out of the closet, but right now I'm just using it to store it. And then right here is this Hatch Baby Scale. And this is a changing pad slash baby scale, but we're mostly gonna use this as a scale. So my sister's mother-in-law actually got this for us. And at first I wasn't really sure what it was, but then when you read more and learn more about it, it's actually really cool. So you download an app on your phone and you can weigh your baby before and after feedings so that you can see how much breast milk they're getting. And you can also log diaper changes and things like that on the app. I don't know if we'll use it for that, but I definitely, if I'm able to breastfeed, which I'm hoping that I am, I will definitely be weighing her just to see how much milk she is getting. And I think it's really cool. And so I will probably organize these and put like the longer clothes towards the end. That way it's a little bit freer. Um, I obviously like will be here with her when I weigh her, but um, that is what that little thing is. And we already have a changing pad, which you'll see in the nursery tour soon. So that's in on her dresser. So this one is just a second dresser. This piece, Tim and I have had this piece of furniture for a long time. It was in our entryway and I believe it's from Target. And it just is one shelf, but this is how I, I needed some extra storage. So I wanted all of her clothes in her main drawer and dresser in her room. And I wanted something in her closet that could organize like this, but that wasn't pull out cubbies. I wanted to be able to see all of it. So over here, we have all of her towels. These are her three towels. And I, this one is her unicorn one, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It has a little unicorn head. And her washcloths here. And then these are all of her sleep swaddle sacks. So we have a couple Aiden and a nice ones. I don't know if that's how you say it. And then Halo sleep sacks. 
we have some fleece ones. Um, we have a, another sleeper down here that's for 12 months. Um, and then these are more newborn and three months. So these are all her sleep swaddles. And then these are all receiving blankets. So there are four flannels down here. These are from Target. And then these my mom and I actually found at Walmart, this little pack of two. And she, my mom really wanted these waffle ones. Those are the ones she always used with us. And she was like, those are the best receiving blankets. So we ended up finding these at Walmart. And then this one, somebody got me. It's really cute. It's got this little kitten on it. It's very soft and amazing. Down here, I have her extra snuggle me cover because for boppies and covers where they're going to be, you know, breastfeeding on or sleeping on and they might have blowouts or things like that, you want to have an extra one. I have changing pad liners that go underneath the changing pad cover. Our extra changing pad cover and our pack and play sheets are down here. Here are extra sheets, and then these are two beautiful receiving blankets that um, family friends made for us. So those are what's down here. And then over here are just really, really fluffy blankets. This one says unicorns are my spirit animal. There's a unicorn theme in this nursery, as you'll see later. And then just some fluffy ones friends got us. This one has a little panda on it. It's really cute. I love that one. And um just like some fluffy extra blankets down here. So that is a look at what is in this section of her closet and how I organized it and why I organized it like that. Up here, I have some just top shelf closet storage, things that I mentioned that we don't need right away or if we do need right away, um, it's labeled and we can get to it. So right now, this is where I have like her big blankets. This was a blanket, it's gorgeous. It says love on it. One of my clients crocheted that for her. And then on the top is a big unicorn blanket. These will likely come out of this and onto her chair and crib you know, because she, she won't be sleeping in it for the first little bit. And we might use this for diapers or something else. And then over here, I have a little basket that I'm not using right now. And then up here is medicine. So in there are the Nose Frida and like the no, the Windy and like that Baby Basics set. Um, by like, what is it, Frida Basics or something like that? I don't remember exactly. It's got the thermometer. It has um, extra butt paste and things like that in here. Um, this has all of her bath toys. So this one says bath. It has letters like the scooper and things like that for when she's a little bit older. So we don't need all of that right away. Over here, extra diapers and wipes are in the top one. That will probably end up going in here. Um, and we'll also probably put boxes of diapers maybe on top of that as well. And then down here are bibs. And these are big bibs. I may move these to the kitchen, but she won't be using these until you know, six or so, six, I don't know. Well, she'll probably be using them like four to six months. They're just like bigger bibs and they won't fit her right away. So I put all of those in there. Now for the fun part, all of her little clothes in here. So should we look at some of her little outfits? So we have this little cardigan and this little sweater. Um, look at this. I mean, do baby clothes not kill you? They are so tiny and so, look at the tiny little miniature pockets. Like, look at that compared to my finger. Oh my goodness gracious, it's so cute. <clears throat> and then it has little ears on the hood. This little sweater. Maybe if I push all these back, there we go. She has her little cardigan here. This has like matching pants that go with it. It also goes with like this little star shirt. My mom got her that. And then she's got this little kitty thing. We fold, we hung up outfits and then we, we folded all of her zip up onesies, snap up onesies and, um, like body suits. And we hung up everything that was like jackets and sweaters and like little tops like this. So that's a little top. This one, this guy is from Carter's, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is my favorite outfit of all time. My sister's got her this. And it is Jack and Janie, and it has this little onesie underneath it. This is zero to three months, so she'll be able to wear this in the Minnesota winter. And I am, I just, like, literally cry over this. It is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. So cute. And then I think my mom got her this little jumper. So cute. Who is this by? This is Carter's. Yes, Carter's. And this is a three-month. And then she has this little polar bear with ears little onesie oh my gosh this is a three month it's just so cute 
this little cardigan jacket. She's got this one with ballet slippers and then under it she has um, a little onesie that goes along with it and there's a pants, there are pants in there too. Her little tiny tutu pants. Look at this though, George took a bite out of them but I don't care, she's still gonna wear them, they're adorable. And then I love this, this has like a little pant set. Is this a uh, baby gap? Yeah, it has these little this little pants set with it, and I think this is three month. Yeah, zero to three month. How freaking cute is that? It's got this little teddy on it. It's a little hedgehog, hedgehog porcupine. I think it's hedgehog. It's a hedgehog little onesie. This sweet jacket. It's like a little fleece jacket. This is a Jack and Janie shirt, and she has this little three to six month. Um, like kind of tank top. We'll take this to Florida with us for my sister's wedding next April. And she has pants that go with, these pants go with this Jack and Janie top. You can see the pattern is the same there. And then um, this goes with these little corduroy pants here. And then this, you guys, oh my gosh. Jack and Janie little dress that my Aunt Kim got for her. Oh, it's so stinking cute. And I think it's three months, which is perfect. I know she was three to six months. Yeah, she was thinking about the wedding. Rachel's wedding is in April in um, Florida, where Tim and I got married. And so we'll be taking this with us. She'll be about um, four months, three months. And then this cute little, um, I think it's a, yeah, it's a, it's like a onesie with a dress, basically. Really cute. This was one my sister-in-law gave me three months. And then this cute little jumper. Where is this guy from? Carter's. So cute. This is a little pocket. It's perfect for like clipping her passy on it. And then this sweet dress. Maybe she'll wear this like to the little welcome party for Rachel's wedding. We have a Magic Merlin sleep suit. Shout out to Brittany Lesser for getting me into this. She used this on her son Grayson um, when he wasn't sleeping well. I got the three month size. It's a small, so it's three to six months. Um, and this is basically supposed to like help them sleep. I don't know if we will end up using it, but we have it. Um, one of my friends got it for us off our registry and I really wanted it just in case she does get fussy. You put her in this, you put them in this and apparently it's like amazing and magic. This is one of my favorite things ever. Oh my gosh. Do you lose it like I do? Look at this ears. Look at those ears. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And it's six months. So I don't know when she'll be able to wear this. Um, we, you know, Minnesota winter, she's going to be born in the winter. But I don't know if she'll be able to wear this this winter. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see how big she is. And then we have this sweet little dress. This is like a little cape someone got her. And then at the back of her closet, I have my ring sling. This is a Pura Vita ring sling. And I got the navy color in this. And it's kind of like a navy ombre. And I really, really wanted a ring sling. My friend Linda got this for her and I'm really glad. Um, I, I love it. I'm really excited to wear that. And I'll wear this when she's really tiny. And then I have our Ergo Baby back here as well, which probably will get moved to the front hall closet, especially as she gets more clothes that kind of fill up her closet but right now that is everything that's hanging up in here and then down here in the corner I have her little tummy time mat once everything gets in here I will probably put this out in her room one of my parents friends got her this it's so cute it's a little lamb and we have a couple other play mats but for when she's really little I really like this and I think it's really cute and then back here we have our diaper bag diaper bags so this one is an Eddie Bauer backpack that Tim really loved and I loved it too. We wanted, definitely wanted a backpack diaper bag. So it's magnetic right here. Makes it really easy. It's got two big side pockets, two or one big front pocket, and it's got good straps in the back. And it opens up and it has lots of room in here. So you have storage for bottles, you have a zipper pouch, you have a changing pad in here. Um, a big pocket here, lots of room. This is primarily dad's diaper bag. This is the one 
that Tim will be using most often. And then this goes with my diaper bag, which is right here. I will take out to show you guys. So I had kind of looked everywhere for cute diaper bags online, on Instagram, all of that, and I hadn't picked one out. And at my shower, one of my childhood best friend's mothers surprised me with this. It's the Bella Tuno um, Boss Bag. And this comes with five bags total. So you have this big one. You have the smaller one that's in here attached to it. And then you have two over here and... There definitely is one more. I think it's it's a five-in-one bag. Um, and you can, these snap together, which is really freaking crazy cool, you guys. It also comes with its own changing pad. And so you can, you know, carry one of these. You can snap them together and carry both. You can carry them as wristlets. You can put the big strap on and carry them like this. If you don't need a huge diaper bag, you have the option to use just this little one. And I'll be showing you like my diaper bag essentials in a future video, but it's got a good phone pocket back there. And then um, I have a few things in here now, but it's not organized by like everything I need in my diaper bag. But I've got like my cover, I've got our changing, my changing pad in here. I have diapers and wipes in here and pacifier and clip. Um, I've got bib in here. Yeah, just some good stuff like that. But I love this diaper bag so, so, so much. It's absolutely adorable. Okay guys, so that is a tour of Baby Girl's closet and what it looks like, how I organized it, what some of her cute like fashion is, her clothes, um, how I organize everything down here, um, our diaper bags. I think you got a good look at a lot of stuff actually, so I'm pretty proud. I'm really out of breath. I'm kind of tired. <laughs> Squatting down and looking at everything. That's hard for me, so I'm so pregnant. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Give it that thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you guys don't want to miss a video. I love you all so much, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah!